I have another flashlight review for you. This time it is the Through Night T3. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. Before we begin, I would just like to thank Through Night for sending me the T3 so that I could share it with you. Okay, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features of this light as well as its physical and performance specifications and its modes of operation. And then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. Just before we take a closer look at the Through Night T3, I thought I'd share with you what else it came with. So it arrived in this box, inside of the box, a few items. Obviously, the operating instructions and warranty information. USB Type-C charging cable, small Ziploc bag containing a lanyard, a pair of spare O-rings, and spare battery port cover. And something, again, not often seen but is appreciated is a nylon belt holster. Let me put those items aside, bring the light back in. Two more things that it came with the light is the removable two-way pocket clip, always appreciated. And it comes with a 4,000 milliamp hour 21700 lithium-ion rechargeable battery. Now, as far as key features for this light go, there are a few things. One, it does have a nice high max output of 2,250 lumens when on turbo. And that comes with a cast of 400 or 301 meters. It does also have the infinity mode ramping. All right, let's go into the physical specifications for the light. So the overall length of this light is 4.5 inches, which is 115 centimeters. The diameter at its widest is 1.06 inches, which is 27 millimeters. And the weight with the battery included is 5.3 ounces, which is 152 grams. It has a waterproof rating of IPX8 and an impact resistance rating of a drop from 1.5 meters. Now, as far as performance specifications go for the Through Night T3, it, as I mentioned, it does have a turbo of 2,250 lumens, but that's only going to last for 50 seconds before the heat protection circuitry drops it down to 621 lumens, but that will last for an additional 170 minutes. Now, there is only an infinity high and infinity low listed because of that the way the ramping works on this, but at infinity high, you have a lumen setting of 1,070 which will drop down to 605 lumens after 40 seconds and remain there for another 180 minutes. Drop it all the way down to infinity low and that will be at 37 lumens but that'll last for 58 hours. It does have a firefly mode of 0.44 lumens which will last 133 days. It is also equipped with a strobe mode, which will run at 610 lumens, lasting for 5.5 hours. Now, as far as operating the Through Night T3, it, like most Through Night's flashlight, very, very simple, and it has the infinity mode, as I mentioned, so very simply to turn it on, press the button here, and I have it on at the low setting, and I'll press and hold the button to ramp it up all the way to infinity high, at which point you'll see a double flash to indicate it has reached that point. And if I press and hold the button again, it'll go all the way down to its low setting and flash again to show that it's on. Then I can turn it off. It has memory for the last lumen setting used. So anywhere in between infinity low and infinity high, you can turn it off, turn it on. It'll come back at the last lumen setting, which is great. It does have a uh, turbo mode, which is activated by double tapping the on and off button, either while the light is on or off. So a quick double tap and you can see it goes all the way into turbo. It does have a strobe mode, which operates by triple tapping the on and off button. So on and off again. It does also have the firefly mode, which is activated by long pressing the button. And it's hardly able to see that, but you can see that it is on and has a very good light for its intended use, which is inside of a tent or anywhere you don't want to destroy your night vision. Now, it does have an electronic lockout, which is great. And then activate the electronic lockout. First, turn the Firefly mode on with a long press. And with the Firefly mode on, long press again, and eventually the light will turn off. And now you cannot operate the light by pressing the switch. To deactivate the electronic lock, 
long press the button again until the light comes on and now you're back into regular operation of the light just before moving on i thought i'd bring in another flashlight to compare with the through night t3 and that is the through night t2 so this is a flashlight that i did a review on some time ago and there is some striking similarities between the two lights which is why i thought i'd bring it in and show it to you but there is some very distinct differences as well so to begin you can see that they are very close in length and other dimensions and they both have the same battery and that's where the comparisons end because of course the through night t2 has stepped lumen settings as opposed to the infinity mode that the t3 has and the other thing that is quite different about them if you can see the reflector the t2 has a shallow orange peel reflector which provides almost entirely flood with just a little bit of spot on the other hand the t3 has a deep polished reflector which provides almost entirely spot with just a little bit of flood so two lights similar in size different operating systems and different beam focuses all right let's move on with the t3 Having gone over the key features as well as the physical and performance specifications and the modes of operation for the through night T3, there's only one thing left to do. Let's get outside and do some testing. All right, we're doing some nighttime testing for the through night T3. I'm going to turn it on in infinity low. I have it aimed at a garage that is about 70, maybe 80 feet away. You can see the neighbor's house in the edge of my house. You can't quite see the garage with it, but let's take it up to infinity high. So obviously in infinity high, it certainly lights the garage up very well. And one more thing is turbo. And that just brilliant like daylight out here. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing comments on the through night t3 flashlight so to begin what do i really like about this light well it has to be its size considering that it has a 21700 battery and it's still relatively compact the other thing i think i like the most about it and it's something that i'm becoming more and more aware of the more flashlights that i get to test and use and that is the ability to find the on off button with just your hands in the dark and unable to see where it is now all Although this has a relatively flush button right here it's still in a raised area of that part of the flashlight which makes it easy for me to find in the dark with my thumb and then I can operate the light from there so I do appreciate that as well the, one of the other things I think I like about this is the fact that it has such a long beam cast for such a relatively short flashlight and that of course is due to the deep polished reflector that it has just the same it still has quite a bit of flood and you can saw as we went outside there is some distinct uh, moving away from the the uh, spotlight to the floodlight so you kind of get the best of both worlds it's not completely flood but it's not then again it's not completely a throwing spotlight either so i do like the pocket clip on this light it's not something i'm going to mount to a hat or anything but it does provide for a very deep carry inside of the pocket of my pants now are there any downsides to this light well if you're going to Consider this an EDC or everyday carry flashlight. It's probably a little big for most people. Now, if you have a need for a light with this power and this type of runtime, then you probably will find this relatively easy to carry as an EDC in your pocket using that clip. And if you don't, of course, there is always the nylon belt holster that it came with as an option. Okay, as always, I'll put all the information that I've given you in terms of specs and operating mode in the video description below. And if you have any comments, or questions please put those in the comment section below but until next time get out and explore and take that path last travel because it will make all the difference bye for now